In Windows Server 2016, we can set up static routing, and that routing is set up fairly easily, but let me just give you an overview of what we're going to do here. So you can see the picture of the PC on the left in the bottom. It's on the 192.168.15 network, and it wants to communicate with the computer on the 192.168.18 network. So we have to set up a static route to get from our computer on the left to our computer on the right. So we can see at the top we have a router, and the router has two interfaces because the router always separates two different subnets. The subnet on the left, 192.168.15, and the subnet on the right, 192.168.18. So we want to go from .15 to .18, and we have to do it through this router. So our gateway from the 15 network into the 18 network is going to be .254, 15.254 to be exact. So let's go ahead and see how we do that in a command prompt in Windows Server 2016. We're in our 2016 server, and if I do an IP config, we can see we're on the 192.168.15 network. So let's go ahead and set up a route to the 18 network. We'll do a clear screen. And now what we'll do is we'll type in route add. And if you do a slash p, that means it makes it persistent or it will also be there after the server reboots or the PC reboots. So we'll go ahead and leave that slash p in there because we want it to still be there. Now we'll put in the subnet 192.168.18.0. Then we type in the word mask for the subnet mask and then type 255.255.255.0 because we know that's what our subnet mask is. And if you're not sure, just do an IP config once again and you'll see it. And then we put in the gateway. So as I mentioned before, the gateway is the router. So there is the 15.254. So in order to get from the .15 network to the .18 network, we've got to go through that router at .254. So go ahead and hit Add, and look at that, it says OK. Now just to make sure that we got it right, we can just do a route print, hit Enter, and scroll back up a little bit. And we can see that our 18 network, 192.168.18.0, with the subnet mask that we set in there, the gateway is going to be 15.254, and that's how it's going to get there. So that's how we set up a static route in Windows Server 2016.